my name is Ashley Sauls and I'm from Ravenswood High School and today I'm going to be talking to you about the science behind fused glass. But before working on any glass project, you must always wear the proper safety protection. The glass pieces shown here all have a 96 coefficient of expansion. This means that each piece will cool at the same rate so the glass will not fracture. Glass is primarily made of melted sand. In order to get color glass like what is shown, certain metals must be mixed in and melted with the sand. For example, the red glass is made by adding gold chloride and the yellow is made with adding cadmium sulfide. Now it's time to cut the shapes needed for the glass piece. Using a glass cutter like the one shown, you take the wheel at the end and make a score on the glass by applying pressure. Then flip the glass over and use the opposite rounded end to tack along the score line in order to make a clean cut. In order to add detail and more color, Graded glass fragments, known as frit, can be added to a piece. Once you have finished cutting out the pieces you need, you then stack them to create the image you want. The stack is then placed inside the kiln, which is almost always electric but can be heated by gas or wood. It is then heated through a series of rapid heating cycles that holds the temperature at a specific point until the separate pieces begin to bond together. The longer the kiln is held at the maximum temperature, the more thoroughly the stack will fuse. Eventually it softens and rounds the edges of the original shape. Once the desired effect has been achieved, the kiln temperature will be brought down quickly through the temperature range of 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,063 degrees Fahrenheit in order to avoid devitrification. It is then allowed to cool slowly over a period of time at a specific temperature point to prevent uneven cooling. This cooling takes place over a period of 10 to 12 hours and is usually in three stages. I thoroughly enjoy working with glass because of its unpredictability. You never know exactly how each piece will turn out, which also makes it very unique because none turn out the same. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the science behind fused glass.